What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today I just want to talk about some advanced pointer concepts and things that can confuse a lot of people in pointer land logic. So, in this example, I'm just going to show you some pointers and all the things you can do with them and the things to consider um, when you're looking at pointers on a test, for example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an int um, star and then I'm going to name it pointer and that will be one pointer and I'll have another pointer called int um, pointer2 let's just call it that for easy reference and I'm gonna make an int i or let's make int let's name it Paul and let's name it George and we're gonna make Paul well actually let's do this all in one line we're gonna make Paul equal to 5 and we'll make George equal to 10 and we're going to assign these pointers. PTR is going to equal the address of Paul. And P, PTR2 is going to equal the address of George. Make sure I spelled that right. And there we go. Okay. So now, obviously, there are a few things I can do. And let me show you guys. So I can um, do star PTR equals star PTR2. I can do... I can do and I can do PTR, PTR, oops, I keep typing things in wrong, guys. I gotta stop that. Okay, and PTR equals uh, PTR2. Now, what do these two things do? Now, this first line right here, line 20, assigns the same, the target value of PTR2, which is 10, which is George currently, to the target value of PTR. So now I have essentially changed the variable Paul to 10 instead of 6. What line 22 does that's important to know is that PTR2, the pointers are now pointing to the same place. I have just assigned PTR2, I have assigned P P PTR, sorry, to the address of PTR2. So now both pointers are pointing at the variable, please go away both pointers are pointing at the variable George. So, for instance, if I were to change PTR right now, I would be changing the variable George. I would not be changing the... I would not be changing Paul like I, I would, like maybe I think I would, which is a mistake. And for uh, funsies, let me just print out um, George again, and hopefully, if I'm right, it will print out... Um, 100, and it did. Ooh, there's 100. So what I so again, this is because I now because I sent pointer two, I assigned pointer two to pointer, and so po pointer is now pointing to the same value or the same address pointer two contains, which is that where the variable George is, and then so when I dereference pointer, it's pointing to the same place pointer two is. It's 100. Also, if I dereference pointer 2, since they're, de they're pointing to the same place, they will both print out 100, because they're both pointing to the same place. And there you go. Again, I get 100. Um, it's just very important to think about this, that there's a di that the star makes a di big difference, because when I'm using the star, or the dereference symbol, as it's car called, or the I'm using the star to assign the target values of those values to different things. So this... This isn't changing what's pointing to what. It's changing the values that those that the targets contain, and the target is what the, var the variable is what the pointer is pointing to. So, for instance, pointer at the beginning contains um, has a target of Paul, and Paul contains a value of six in the beginning. And now I'm changing that target value of pointer to the target value of pointer two, which is George, which has a value of ten. So it's very important to consider those things when you're coding and make sure, oh my god. I'm sorry guys, I have got to figure that out and I have been very lazy because it only comes up when I record. Maybe if one of you guys in the comment section knows how to stop it, that would make my life easier. Or I could just Google it like any normal person. Um, oh, it's not good to say um during your videos either. Uh, subscribe if you like. Like my videos, comment if you like, I love it when you do that, and check out my website, tell me what you think.
and make sure you understand pointers really well. And when the you can make two things point to the same thing. And basically, to end this tutorial, I forgot to say what I want to say. This is how you copy values. Is when you use this line is you, if you want to copy a value. So I want to tell this pointer to copy what's the target of this pointer and assign it to the target of another pointer. That's the copy values. And this is to point have two pointers pointed to the same thing, which is not really the most useful thing, but hey, it comes up on tests and you may see it again. So have a great day and bye bye.